Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. It's time to continue collecting as many moons as possible, which are stars in the Mushroom Kingdom. And then, see what else we can do. So, let's head on over this way, because on top of the Star Shroom Shop is Captain Toad. Great to be back at home again. But you know, after my long trip, I'm seeing things here from a whole new point of view. I'll never hang up my adventure hat, but for now, I'm glad to be back. Hey, here, one more power moon for you. Forever onward, Captain Toad. So many kingdoms, so much uh, possibility. There's also the Fedora Dog here. Which I believe actually will take, give us a, a moon, probably after a few attempts. Yeah, that wasn't what I needed. Maybe over this way? Maybe? Not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure it always has at least one power moon for you. There we go. Found at Peach's Castle. Good dog. Okay, and now let's do another boss rematch. Grab those coins. And also there's a seed here to make a vine if you want to get up that way. But I don't usually go up that way, so... It might be useful. Like, from here if you don't have anything else to do down here, but anyway. Let's re-fight Cockatiel. So, we've got a lot of these uh, spike balls to dodge. And I think it just drops more stuff on you, possibly. I might be wrong, but anyway. It certainly adds a little bit of extra difficulty to dodge things. Wow, that sniped me. Ow. So let's just head on up here, please. Oh my goodness, how did that fall off? Oh my goodness, I'm getting angry now. There we go. Tremendous first hit. Oh my goodness. And it hit me so many times for some reason. And I fell off somehow. I don't even know how that happened. This is why the hearts are here. And usually in these boss fights that aren't actually hearts, but for some of them they... Some of them they do. Oh my goodness, why are you dropping them directly on me? It's so rude. Oh, that was close. Please don't, please don't. No, 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 no. I nearly fell straight into the spikes. This is just sad. This is just sad. Please hit that. Thank you. Just like that. I'm about to die, and I'm pretty sure there's no more hearts left. I would suggest don't jump. Just, if you're going to jump, shake. Oh my goodness, that one nearly hit me. Watch out for shadows. Oh. Also, the other thing about these spiky things is they actually, like these ro rotating spike ball chain things, is they actually break the, uh, the green spiky ball things. Get up there, please. 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 <gasps> wow. I don't even know. And he became soup. I should not have won that. But I did, so. It's also nice how it keeps giving us multi-moons for all of these boss refights. And there are quite a few to do, so... 
Uh, let's do this one over here. I think I got those purple coins already. Yeah, I did. So, if we ground pound into this pipe. We get to refight this boss, which is actually probably the coolest redone version. Because there's no ground. There is no ground. And... It's raining. So we just have infinite water, because it's raining. So what I'd suggest for this though, is get as high as possible on the first island, and then... Land on this bit here, so you can get extra height. And now that you're way above it, it's gonna make this boss fight easier. Just never let go of your capture though. And this should be fairly well, fairly good. This is really cool though. Infinite water because it's raining. It is, a, it does take, why did you leave your capture Mario? Why? I think I must have accidentally pressed the ZR button when my finger brushed past it. Ha. <sighs> I'm fine. But yeah, this is... It will take a little bit of extra time because you have to... It doesn't take as much damage when you're further up above it. But it's... For some reason, it's... I've had a lot of trouble with it just hitting me when I'm too close to it. Because it goes up a little bit. And that makes it fairly difficult. Oh, please land on that. There we go. Because he goes up a little bit and then you can't be above him. Because you're just going to be... You know, at his level and it just doesn't work, so... I guess you could fold down a bit to try and do that and then just keep you using your maximum height. Let me try doing that a bit. If I can even hit him at all. Nice first hit. Alright. I've moved my finger so it's not actually above the ZR button right now. I usually have my finger above the ZR button so I can press it whenever I need to. But that didn't work out well. Please hit him. Oh, that was so close. There we go. Just going all the way over this way. I think you just got a little bit higher as well. For this last hit, you can ground pound on him and be okay, but you also have to make sure you don't miss, otherwise you will have to restart. It's just easier to keep spraying him. And he's done. What's interesting though is it actually puts us in the, the glass here. There's nothing else to see here, it's just the glass by itself, but anyway. Well, so that's very pixelated under the water. That's interesting. Okay, just gonna roll back through that pipe there. And let's see, where else do I need to go? Still have nine more purple coins left to collect. Which I will do at some point, probably. Just have to find them. But let's actually go up to this challenge up here as well. I think there's actually purple coins up here. I might have got those already. Yeah, I did. So let's see what this is. And, oh, it's this one. I'd actually consider this one fairly challenging for a rematch because it puts in the, the mummies and you have to dodge those constantly. And it makes more with every attack that it does, actually. Oh, and if you miss its hand, it makes it annoying. I'm doing really bad right now. I haven't even had it hit any of the glass ice stuff. 
grab that, please. Thank you. I'm gonna play it as safe as possible for this because I want I wanted to get this without dying. If I can. But anyway, we need to dodge its hands, which also makes a lot more money mummies appear. Just like that. Um but the mummies means makes it so you can't be um on the ground constantly, basically. You have to actually avoid them if you can. And it's like clap attack is actually the hardest one to dodge because of that because of everything you need to dodge going forward and back to dodge okay this attack especially with the ice as well because the ice will slow you down you need to dodge the mummies okay we're good just need to get it oh this attack Oh, that was close, but I managed to do it, and I haven't even taken any damage yet, which is really surprising. But there we go. I like the silver edge edges on the multi moons. It looks cool. It's a good artistic feature. But anyway, let's go up this way and let's jump straight into this hole. Oh, the boy! Oh boy! <laughs> that that is quite a reaction to have going into a level. So we have the secret area, and we need to. Stay inside of the pixel background, otherwise we go back into 3D and just fall out into death. And we also have to dodge everything as well. Oh my goodness, it's cool, but also, oh dear. And if you fall out of the pixel area, you also don't, you can't go back in. So you can't go too far out of the black moving screen. Also, it kind of reminds me of playing um, Super Mario Bros. on the original hardware because uh, I played two copies that my cousins had and one of them had the background was always black and one of them had the actual proper background. So it was really interesting and this this kind of Oh, that's not good. This level kind of reminds me of that because there's the the regular blue background, but there's also the black background that you need to follow along with. <sighs> there's this little bit at the beginning here that's supposed to catch you if you fall out. But it's only useful at that bit there to teach you how the rest of the area works. I'm just going to grab this heart there because it gives me coins every time. If I'm going to die here over and over, I'm going to grab coins. Oh my goodness, bouncing on everything. It's also interesting how they sometimes spawn the bullet bills as... 3 objects. And then when they're overlapping with the 8-bit area. Okay, let's try this again. You're supposed to run across these blocks so you don't fall down, but for some reason I fell down when I jumped to the platform up here. Need to keep that speed. Okay, and you should take your time with these jumps because you have, you have time to make those jumps, so. And now it's time for Mario Galaxy <laughs> physics, basically. 
And we have to also stay within these light blue backgrounds as well. Which is interesting. Just gonna wait for the blue background to come back around. And with this last platform here, if you duck with the ZL Mario physics, why? I'm so mad. Because it's, because, oh. You can duck under those fuzzies, is what I was trying to say. What just happened to me, though, was because of it being a, a planet with the gravity being centered, I'm ready to rage. With the gravity being centered, um, the controls changed so that I had to press in a different direction to go down, and I couldn't figure out in time which direction I need to press the control stick to actually go down. That's really annoying. Anyway, that's this this that's this entire area basically, except for the very last bit at the end, which we have to do as well after we get through all of this. This is also um, somewhat difficult, more difficult, I guess, with the moon overlay on the side of the screen being full, but it's not that bad. It's like the ink in uh, Mario Kart, where you can still kind of see through it, so it doesn't completely mess you up. Oh, that was close. Okay, just make... Take it slow on these last few jumps here, and then go. I'm pretty sure that this background actually stops before those blocks even... No, it does. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of there before I die. It did stop, though. But you have plenty of time to do that. Okay, let's try this again, and this time... I might even just tank the damage, honestly. Just so I don't have to worry about... the gravity changing... on the controls. I guess that's really annoying. I like this Mario Galaxy kind of feel to this, though. Okay, I'm just gonna do that, and then... Okay, it did change, because it's it was left and right were reversed when you're upside down. Okay, so we have to make it past this. That's okay. I'm gonna take the damage, because there's... The moon's gonna heal me anyway, and then I'm done anyway. Because that's everything in this pixel area. I feel like there's supposed to be a secret block here, but there isn't. I'm just too used to secrets, I don't know. But anyway, that's that done. So let's keep moving. And I can't... I'm not entirely certain, but I think... No, there is one more. No, two more boss fights that I can think of that we haven't done yet. And I remember where they are, because they're the, the blocked pipes that we opened up before. And the fruit doesn't come back blocking those pipes up again. Let's refight the dragon. It's a cool cutscene, but I'm gonna skip it. This dragon is really cool. Just how huge it is. And it's also a dragon, you know. Dragons are cool. I really like this boss fight. Like, it's a dragon, it's got electricity coming out of it, it's purple. That's a cool color for everything. But anyway. It's just so cool. <laughs> like, it's glowing horns. Oh my goodness. We've also got ice physics to deal with in this rematch. And also makes a lot more of these electric things and the 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 electricity beams that we have to dodge are in different shapes and patterns. But anyway, it's mostly fine. We can do this. Yes, we can. Might just grab this for some coins. Although I might still need health at some point. Ah, oh, got hit.
some of those things are easy to dodge because of the shapes just having holes in it to help you through. But there we go. Very nice. Let's go do the other one. Which I, 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 for some reason I can't remember these, the actual bosses that I haven't done yet, for some reason. So let's, let's find out together what this last one is. Which I should actually know what this is going to be. Oh, this isn't actually a boss fight. Okay, so maybe we did all, did do all the boss fights. Well, anyway, we have a Yoshi's secret level, which is cool. There's also a hidden pathway down here to a a star moon thing sunken star in the sea of clouds and we also need to get some fruit in this level so let's do that we also have to dodge these terrifying uh, eels that are just all over the place just gonna yoink that away from you This is actually a pretty cool secret area. Oh, that was close. Had to Yoshi tongue flip to get that to work. Just gonna hang out on the wall. And now, if we go between these two things here, we need to go up, but Yoshi can't wall jump, so... If we keep jumping between them and use Yoshi's tongue, we can actually get up that way. Which is pretty cool. There we go. And that's everything in the secret area. Yoshi's Feast in the Sea of Clouds. <gasps> cl cl cloud Sea is cool. Sea of Clouds. You know. Very, very nice concept. Oh. Wow, good, did a good job there at the end. Just getting out of the level. But that's fine. Okay, so, I think that's all the bosses done then. I guess that makes sense as to why I couldn't remember what the last boss was, because there wasn't one. But anyway, let's grab that last pasture seed star. Might even grab these for some more coins, just since they're all here. Now, is there... what else have I got to do? Um, I still have some purple coins to find. So I'll probably have to find those. Okay, they're not the ones over here. That's kind of surprising, but I think I need to grab some of these Goombas, so let's do that. If possible. Also, you can just shake to jump so high compared to other Goombas sometimes. Like, just jump straight on top of that stack like that because of shaking to jump. Um... Let's grab these ones. I think this is a good enough stack, so let's see if I can take it places. Oh, there's some purple coins there that I haven't got. That's fine. Now, where do I need to take this stack? Oh, I remember. We have to take it a long way from here. I might grab those purple coins while I still see them. Probably a good plan. Let's also... We have a few things we can do with this Goomba stack, so... If we go... Up here. I'm just seeing a few moons off to the side that I haven't done yet. This toad is scared of the Goomba's stack. And we can get this moon behind him. Toad Defender. And then, if we go up here, there's the Lady Goomba. Which we can only do this with the moat drained as well. Love at Peach's Castle. 
and then ended. <laughs> um, let's see, I think there's actually a moon over here that I didn't remember for some reason. Uh, if I get all these flowers sprouted. There we go. That one's a little bit uh, more subtle of a moon than the rest. Grow a flower garden because you just don't think about those giving you good stuff sometimes, but that one, that one does. Uh, I also need the motor scooter thing, I'm pretty sure. Since there's one in this kingdom, this is the motor scooter kingdom after all. So let's activate that. Oh, I already did that. Okay, that's fine. I can grab it again anyway. Just need to think about what else I need to do in the rest of this kingdom. Still have six purple coins somewhere. Now, am I crazy, or is there something in the sky that I need to be aware of? I'm probably just crazy. Yeah, I think I'm crazy. Um, let's... let me think. Purple coins. Where am I missing purple coins? Where would I miss purple coins? Where would me specifically miss purple coins? I don't know. Um, but let's go over this way. And... Probably talk to this toad wearing headphones. Hello! I'm traveling all over in search of all uh, different kinds of music. I wonder if you might know some uh, of some music that fits a certain theme. The theme is Flat and Blocky Classic. If you've got that one, let me hear it. So, now we have to select a song for him. And if it fits the theme, then yes, this is it. This is the music I wanted to hear. Thank you. Here, this is for you. And he gives us a power moon. And he's in multiple kingdoms as well, so we have to talk to him in other things as well. It It's fun to travel around while listening to your favorite music. Yeah, this is the what's supposed to teach you about the music player being available after the end of the game. So anyway, um... Purple coins. Missing six purple coins. I don't know how or where. I know why though. <laughs> because I'm not observant. Just making... I'm just double checking that there's nothing in the sky. Nothing if I zoom in on the moon, right? Yeah. Anyway. I think if I go over this way though... I think... That I haven't done this yet. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of these as well. Don't think that does anything. But I believe on this edge, I didn't get the purple coins over here, so that's three. It's just three more somewhere else then. I did get the ones. Did I get the ones up there? Were there one? Were, were there some up there? I think there were some up there, right? Maybe. No. Surely there's some on top of a tower somewhere that I missed. Or something. I have to look around, probably. I got the ones on the tower by the lake. Did I get the ones over here? I think I would have, because I went around that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I did. Um, got the ones under the thing, got the ones inside the castle. I don't think there were any up here that I need to worry about. Oh, I got those three already. I am concerned. I am concerned. Can also see this mural thing. Glass, I don't know. Window of Peach. I'm completely lost right now, and I don't know why. Let's talk to the talker to and see what the talker to says. Please? Totally classic. Why don't I remember that? Courtyard chest trap. 
Oh, that's what that is. Mushroom Kingdom regular cup. Okay, well I can do that now. So let's do that then. So, down here... Oh, is there something off the edge of this waterfall? No. Is there one... something off the F edge of this waterfall? Yes, this is where the last purple coins were. I actually remembered, kind of. But anyway, there's a Cooper free running here, so let's quickly do that. We have to get from here to the front of the castle bridge. So let's see how well we can do that. There's a lot of the the running flowers that make makes this super simple. It's not even that complicated to do this. Please, thank you. You do have to try and streamline these flowers though. So there we go, 14 seconds. No sign of the other races yet. Just surprising considering how short that was. There he goes. I don't remember how difficult this gold Cooper Trooper one is though. The Master's Cup. Let's do it anyway. That's the spirit. Once again, purple Cooper Trooper is gone. Rest in peace. Oh dude, that's not good. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's so fine. 15 seconds. Not as good as the previous run, but still pretty alright. And there's Gold Cooper Trooper. Okay, there we go. I think that's actually most of the stars in this kingdom now. Or moons. Yeah, pretty much. So, um, yeah. But anyway, that is it for now. So, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.